From Nassau to Miami, they prepare for Hurricane Irma as she carves her deadly path. As the powerful storm churns across one Caribbean island nation after another, they are boarding buildings in the Bahamas capital of Nassau, emptying hotel pools and filling airport departure lounges. We were here for Matthew and we were very lucky, um, but luck doesn't always strike twice. It's a traumatic tale Bahamanians keep reliving. They've been hit for the past two years by Category 4 force storms, Joaquin in 2015 and Matthew last year. This time, Ebenezer Methodist Church stocked up early for the expected onslaught of shelter seekers. We will have a lot of homeless and also disabled people here in this uh, shelter. And they know where to come. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we did this last year, so I think they know. Uh, the word gets around on the street. But with Irma's sustained high winds, even veteran storm watchers are worried. Nassau is the capital, and we feed the family islands. And if we get destroyed, the family islands are like grapes will die on the vine. This tiny island nation of just 400,000 people draws 5 million tourists a year to beaches like this one. But this is the third year in a row that the Bahamas faces a major hurricane. And this year, it looks like few people are taking any chances. The hotels are largely empty, and so are the beaches. After the Bahamas, Irma is poised to strike Florida, which hasn't seen a storm like this since Hurricane Andrew in 1992, the most destructive in state history. With mandatory evacuations stretching from the Florida Keys to Georgia, local leaders had a clear message, get ready or get out. More powerful than any storm in recorded history, Irma's ultimate landfall on the continental U.S. remains unknown, but it seems unlikely Florida will escape entirely. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Nassau, the Bahamas.